Greetings from Orlando. My name is Steve Wilson, the Global Business Unit Director for Plastics, Rubber, and Composites. We're at the National Plastics Exhibition in the West Hall in booth 483. Come and see us. We'll show you what we're doing to help people in the plastics processing industry to improve quality, to increase productivity, to lower cost, to extend the asset life of the molds, and actually improve the environment. The magic begins with dry ice. Dry ice in the plastics industry comes in two very popular forms, three millimeter pellets or in block form. We're actually demonstrating in the booth the block form of dry ice. Solid CO2 is the beginning of the cleaning process. The dry ice is loaded into the machine, the machine is turned on, and then you begin to do three things in the plastics industry. What I'm demonstrating now is probably the most popular application in plastics is in machine mold cleaning at operating temperature. We also help people deburr and deflash parts. We'll show you that here in a minute. We also show people how to surface prep parts prior to painting or, or bonding them. This is a dirty mold which we will clean using the dry ice process. What you're seeing is the kinetic energy of the dry ice moving the shade particles. I will move over to the other side of the mold, maybe a little bit more visible. The dry ice, the kinetic energy of the very small particles is being accelerated at high velocity, creating some kinetic energy. The dry ice is also very cold, minus 109 degrees F. That's the coefficient of thermal expansion contraction just similar materials. The, dry, the cold of the dry ice is actually embrittling the contaminant causing it to shrink and it will break free from the substrate. What you're also seeing as we blast this tool to clean it is the dry ice is phasing from a solid to a gas. On impact, it will grow volumetrically about 800 times in size. So the, literally you're micro-cracking a contaminant with the dry ice particle. You're causing it to shrink with the kinetic, with the coal and blow it off using just the fact that it sublimates back into a gas. This is a very popular application of cleaning the tooling. Cleaning things like these tight geometry and molds, you're cleaning these contaminants off the mold, whether this is H13, P20, or coated tooling, whether it's aluminum, very popular in blow molding, sandblasted, or beryllium. We're cleaning everything from the D, the C's, the B's, in this case, a class A1 surface. We clean a lot of A1, A2, A3, by just simply moving the machine down to the press and then opening it up clean the A half and the B half. Also very popular, real quick walk down here you're going to see, we do a lot of deburring and deflash. Parts are machined or parts have flash and you remove that flash using that kinetic energy. You also have the opportunity to take that dry ice particle and to clean the part prior to painting. Up in the top corner you see the dry ice particles hitting the bumper cleaning it prior to painting. What does that particle look like? Let me come back over here real quick and I'll give you a look at what the particle is. You'll notice on the top of the machine, you're accelerating and you're getting up with this very small particle. That becomes your blast media, which actually wants to sublimate and go back to a gas when you use it. That's what we're doing down here at MPE showing people how the process works, showing molders how to save money, how to increase productivity. Come on down and see us here in Orlando, West Hall, Booth 483. Thanks.